family and making it. Mm. Being forced to leave the place you love because there's hate in it. Pe Dave, it's your turn. Let's go. Yo. What's going on, everybody? It's JT Dion back at it again with another video. So look, today, well, tonight, because at the time of recording this, just so y'all don't think I'm playing with y'all, it is 2.03 Eastern time. 2.04 now. So I'm kind of half asleep half awake but the grind cannot stop the grind must continue with that said the uk homies stand up this is for y'all right here when i reacted to dave and it was central c the song sprinter the uk homies started tapping in in the comments and they was like hey man you need to hop on dave he's like the uk goat over here i was like oh okay bet i've never heard of dave my first time hearing dave was in the sprinter song hopefully y'all turning me on to something and i'm ready to see what he's talking about right here but before before we get into the video how y'all doing y'all all right hope everybody doing good hope your family doing good but hey if not understand that you got a whole new 24 hours getting ready to come you're gonna be all right temporary situations life is a revolving cycle you're gonna be all right with that said i'm not gonna hold up no more time let's get on into today's video this is that dave black look Black is beautiful, black is excellent. Black is pain, black is joy, black is evident. Working twice Hold on. the people you know you're Why y'all ain't tell me this was gonna be one of these songs right here? Well, then again, I should have read the title. Black. I see we about to go down that road, it looked like. But hold on, did y'all catch the pop? Did, did you catch the pop from the crowd when he started? That mean they interested, they ready. Let's take it back in case you didn't hear it. Listen to the crowd. Black is beautiful, black is excellent. Black is pain, black is joy, black is evident. Mm. Working twice as hard as the people you know you're better than because you need to do double what they do so you can level them. Black is so oh. much deeper than just African American. Our heritage been severed. You never got to experiment with family trees. Cause they teach you about famine and greed. Show you pictures of our family on their knees. Tell us we used to be barbaric. We had actual queens. So right here. In my opinion, it sounds like he's touching on how history isn't really taught the way it needs to be taught. Like, it's just my opinion. Again, it's two something in the morning. Don't beat me up in the comments. This is just my opinion. It sounds like he's saying something like, when it comes to our history, we're not really being taught the right stuff when it comes to our ancestors and just history in general. But when we look at the history of us, our history is always showed in parts of slavery, chained up, on our knees, working slaving for others that's that's the vibe i'm getting i could be wrong again i'm tired it's two in the morning but that's no excuse correct me if i'm wrong that's just how i'm feeling about it and it's like he's talking from the black community standpoint he's just trying to get others to see what it's like from our perspective because he did just say we got to work twice as hard oh no i could be wrong maybe y'all see it different that's just how i'm taking it right now we still got a good long time to go Black is watching child soldiers getting killed by the children mm. Feeling sick so quick this could have happened to me Mommy watching telling stories about your dad and your niece mm. Listen, the blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice Kid dies, the blacker the killer, the sweeter the news And if he's white Hold on, where was he going with that? You give him a chance, he's ill and confused If he's black, he's probably armed, you see him and shoot Look Ooh, wait a minute, hold on Let's run it back one more time What did he just say? In that sequence, what did he just say? Family trees, cause they teach you about famine and greed. Show you pictures of our family on their knees. Tell us we used to be barbaric, we had actual queens. Black is watching child soldiers getting killed by the children. Feeling sick so quick, this could have happened to me. Mommy watching, telling stories about your dad and your niece. Listen, the blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. Okay. Kid dies, the blacker the killer, the sweeter the news. Did y'all catch that? The blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice. The blacker the killer, the sweeter the news. In other words, from my opinion, the blacker the killer, the sweeter the news. When it's one of us, it's going to be all over every news station, CNN, Fox News. Ooh, and don't let it be an athlete. ESPN, TMZ, it's going to be everywhere. And when stuff like that does happen, it's like the media can't wait to get their hands on the story so they can just push it, push it, push it, push it. And they are going to just run with it. And if he's white, you give him a chance. He's ill and confused. Okay. If he's black, he's probably armed. You see him and shoot. He said, if he's white, you give him a chance. He's either ill or confused. Whoa. Dave, listen, Dave. I just got a thousand subscribers. You about to mess around with this song and cause me to lose about 500 of them. 
I pray that don't happen because it's 2024. I know we in that type of age now where things can be taken left when it's really meant to go straight forward. I, I, I really hope you don't take it offensive. It's not my intentions. I'm just talk. I'm just speaking from what he's saying on here. But if we really got to be honest here, is he not lying? If one of us do it, oh, he meant to do it. It was premeditated. He was ready to do it. That was his intentions. But if the white guy does it, oh, well, let's take him to get checked out. He has situations going on where he's just mentally unstable. Stop. I mean, it could be true. But stop, because would you say that same thing for one of us? I'm not trying to rub nobody the wrong way. Please don't take it the wrong way. I'm just giving my take on what he's saying. But he's not lying so far. And I'm not even a person that gets into this type of stuff. I promise you I'm not. Ask any of my homies. I don't touch on these type of subjects. I play my game. I deal with my football boys. You know what I'm saying? I don't get into all this right here. Why y'all send me this? Y'all going to mess around? Man, I'm going to. When I publish this, I ain't going to have no subscribers. <laughs> I ain't going to have no subscribers, bro. Look. Black is growing up around a barbershop mm. Mommy says stay away from trouble, you're in yard a lot Studying for ages, appreciating the chance you got Cause black is in your blood and you ain't even got the heart to stop Black Ooh. is stepping in for your brothers because your father's oh. Standing by your children when you haven't proven karma wrong Black mm. is doing all of the above then going corner shop Trying to help a lady cross the road to have her walking off mm. Black is growing up around your family and making it mm. Being forced to leave the place you love because there's hate in it People Lord have mercy, that man just gave us a lot He said being Black is growing up around the barbershop. You know good and well that barbershop be packed on Saturdays. We go right up the street to Tony's and Pat's. What? We go right up there. Man, we go to Faders. We go to Platinum. We go anywhere. We sit up in that place for hours talking about sports, having a good time, chilling, laughing, just like how the women go to the salons, and they up in there for about three, four hours, getting their hair done, getting their nails done, chopping it up with their salon girl. That's how the homies is when they go up there to the barbershop, man. We, we just sitting there chilling. We ain't in no rush. Shawty already know where we at, so she ain't tripping about it. She be like, shoot, this sad. Bay going to get that ball fade. He going to get that fresh line. He going to be at the barbershop, so I know he going to be there for a good time. He going to be there with the boys catching up. He also said, I felt that last little bit on a personal level. Because when you've been through stuff like that, listen, it hit different. He said, black is stepping up for your brothers because your father's not around or something like that. Dog, that one hit me like boom because I had to step in. I had to be that guy of the house. And it's not just us. This can go to every race, not just us. There's a lot of times when the father isn't present. You're living with a single mom. There's multiple kids. Most of the time, the oldest one takes charge. He steps in to fill that role, fill that need, especially when mama works all the time. And the oldest one is the one at the house with the young ones all the time. He steps in to be that father figure, to lead them, to lead by example, install discipline. So that hit me on a personal level. Then that last part that he just touched on, getting out of the city because it's hate in it. You can't even stay there. Why do you think so many people, when they get successful, they get out of their city? Because it's hate in the city. Some people cannot stand to see you make it when both of y'all started at the same starting point. But the difference between you and them, you actually took the chance and ran with it. You didn't stop. You didn't give up. You kept grinding. As soon as it got hard for them, they stopped. They, they, they started complaining. They was like, man, this is too hard. I don't want to do it. I can't do it. But you said, by any means necessary, I got to get it. And then when you make it, now some of them same people hating on you because you blew up. I don't get that. How many rappers y'all know done died in their own city? My favorite rapper, right there on the wall, gunned down right there in front of his own clothing store, on the block he grew up on, Slauson and Crenshaw, taken out right there in his own city. Big L in his own city. Young Dolph in his own city. Just to name a few. It's hate in the city. You got to get out the city. When you get successful, you got to. Because they going to start plotting. They don't want to see you at that level. And y'all both had the same opportunity. Jealousy, envy, hate, all that's real, man. So don't think it can't happen to you. Because it can. And another thing, most of the time, when you get taken out, it's by somebody you know, man. It's by somebody that's close to you. Somebody that you call your own brother. Somebody that was with you from the start. But because you took the chance and you ran with it. And they don't want to see you getting all the limelight now. They say, all right, y'all keep talking about him. All y'all talk about when we come around is him. Every time we come around with him, y'all don't pay us no attention. Y'all just be over there with him. All right, no, 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 that, 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 that's cool. We'll just get rid of him so that way you can't enjoy him. It's hate, man. People say you're faking it, never stay for changing it. But black is being jealous, you'd be dead if you had stayed in it. Mm. Black is struggling to find your history and tracing it. Mm. You don't know the truth about your race because they're erasing it. They lying to us. Really sour flavor, here's a taste of it. But black is all I know, there ain't a thing that I would change in it. Oh my God. Huh. 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want y'all to just get a glimpse of this imagery right here. Look who's sitting across from him. It's a white man. He's playing the piano for him. Dave looking him dead in his eyes while he's talking to him. He's just speaking to him, telling him what it's like from our perspective. That's all that is. Dave, you, you too real for this one. Because you already know somebody's going to take this offensive. And it's not even meant to be taken that way. I'm just giving my thoughts on what he's saying. But nowadays, everything is so sensitive. Hey, you speaking facts though, man. I'm going to try to stop pausing. Look, black is in a single color, man, the shades to Ooh. Her hair straight and thick, but mine's got waves in it. Waves. It's not divisive, they've been lying and I'm hating it. Black has never been a competition, we're all making it. Hey. Black is deadly. Black is when you're freezing in your home and you can't get sleep, but never Ooh. feeling empty. Ooh. You got 20 cousins in your country living stress free, walking for their water daughter wrapped inside a bed sheet. Lord. Black is distant, it's representing countries that never even existed while your grandmother was living. Jesus. Black is my Ghanaian brother reading into scriptures, doing research on his lineage, finding out that he's Egyptian. Ooh. Is in my opinion, what he's saying right here is do what you got to do to learn your history. So that way you know what is what and what is not. That's that's just how I take it. I could be wrong. Then again, I could be wrong. The information out there, you just got to go find it. All this internet technology, man, stop. People naming your countries and what they trade most. Mm. The coast of Ivory, Gold Coast, and the Grain Coast. But most importantly, to show how deep all of this pain goes. West Africa, Benin, they call the Slave, Slave Coast. Coast. Black is so confused. Oh, oh, oh. Take our features when they want and have their fun with What? It. Never seem to help with all the things you know will come with. Come on. Loud in our laughter. And I suffer. Strong inside the face of the feet. Poverty made me a beast. I battled the law in the streets. Oh, I battled the law in the streets. Struggle, but your struggle ain't a struggle like me. Mm. How could it be when your people gave us the odds that we beat? I'm your people gave us the odds that we beat? Oh my God. What? Let me let me talk to Nipsey right quick. Nipsey, you hear this man? He's speaking, Nipsey. I know you're looking down smiling at this right here. How old is this dude? Cause he look young. How old Dave? Some you know what? Matter of fact, I'm gonna look it up. This dude speaking like he about 39, 42, 54. He's speaking like, you know what I'm saying? He he he's speaking with a lot of wisdom. That man said, You struggle too. I know you I know you struggled, but you ain't struggle like we struggle. And that's facts. Cause you ain't come up the same way I come up. You ain't beat all the odds that I had to beat in order to get here. All this stuff he's speaking is way too real, man. It's crazy how real this is. I mean bloody yo, what about our brothers that are stuck in jail that couldn't bust the bell, they held a bird and got a living. Black is being guilty until proving that you're innocent. Black is saying free all of my people stuck inside in prison cells. It's funny we ain't got nothing to say to them. Unconditional love is strange to them, it's amazing. Them. Black has really got the sweetest flavor, here's a taste of it. But black is all I know, there ain't a thing that I would change. With. Lord. It is racist, whether or not it feels racist. The truth is our prime ministers are real racist. They say you should be grateful where the least racist. I say the least racist is still racist. Whoa. And if somebody hasn't said it, equality's a right, it doesn't deserve credit. Now if you Who? don't want to get it, then you'll never Who is it? least racist. I say the least racist is still racist. Facts. And if somebody hasn't said it, equality's a right, it doesn't deserve credit. Now if you don't want to get it, then you're never gonna get it. How the news treats Kate versus how they treated Megan. Rest mm. in peace, Jack Merritt, you're my brother in arms. There's tears in our eyes and love in our hearts. We never had the same background, culture, color or past, but you devoted your life to giving others a chance. And for that, I'm so- I said I won't gonna pause it no more, but I just caught what he said. Equality is a right, not credit. This man speaking. Why well, I'm just now finding out about this dude. I ain't gonna, man, let's end it. Taken aback because he gave us all a voice. I have to say it for Jack. As a young black man, the scene paper and crack. Giving tough mm. sentences, it's just paper and cracks. All he would want is unity, funding for communities, equal opportunities, people under scrutiny, no more immunity, way less hatred, more conservation, less deforestation, mm. more rehabilitation. Now that would be amazing. Come on. But Grenfell victims still need accommodation. Come on. Still need support for the Windrush generation, reparations for the time our people spent on plantations. I'm done. And drop the mic on him. He dropped the mic on him and just walked off. I don't know what to say. He just painted you a picture of what it's like to be on the other side, to be one of us in song form, in my opinion. Y'all notice I keep saying in my opinion because I don't want somebody, you know what I'm saying? 
But man, this right here was very powerful, very relatable. Home run hit. Dave, you are an artist that I really don't know about, but I promise you, I'm about to look into your catalog. To the UK homies, I see why somebody said that in the comments. This the UK goat. We're going to have to explore some more Dave over here, for real. I hope I don't lose no subscribers because of this. Hey, if I do, hey, life goes on. But I hope we can all be adults here and just listen to what he's saying. But you made it to the end of the video. If you like the video, smash that subscribe button. And until the next time I see y'all, equality is a right. Not credit. Cowboy. I'm JT Dion. I'm out.